Hello, my name is Nelson, and this tutorial is going to show you how to change the icon to an Android game app that you're developing. Now, what you see on your screen right now is the Eclipse emulator up and running. You see that you're on the icon page, and you notice there's many different custom icons on this. And if you look at the fourth row down, you're going to see the standard Android man icon that comes with your programs. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to not make the icon there's plenty of tutorial on youtube that shows you how to make the icon and on the web so you can just look those up and show you how to create different icons for your your game what i'm going to show you is how to insert it and basically it's just a cut and paste i'm going to mention a few little things to those of you who's using photoshop but other than that it's going to just show you how we can insert it into the game now this is the one we're going to change on the left hand side i know this is the one for my game but if you notice there's two more android man default icons here and the problem is i want to change mine so i can distinguish it from these two other games you notice they're the same icon it has the same title except this last one it has blue at the end but basically i'm going to change this one so i can distinguish it from the other ones if you click on this icon you notice that the game runs it's a welcome page if you've been following my tutorial you know the last few tutorials I've been creating this welcome page and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this logo this bright logo for my game I'm going to shrink it down and use it as the icon there's a few little things I want to talk about when you make an icon is details you shouldn't put too many details in it because it's not going to show up anyways because these icons are fairly small so this logo probably has a little bit too much detail but that's okay I'm just being lazy I'm going to use this one I mean it just has enough so I'm going to use it and again we're going to go back to the icon page and we're just going to replace this icon right here another thing I want you to notice is detail number two is the black background if you notice it's a black background and you have to be conscious of that when you use black in your icon like if I decided to make a version of this Android man icon and I, I made the arms black that might be an issue because the background's black and what happens is the arms was blend into the background it'll just look like you have a man without arms so take that in consideration as well so those are the two things when you think about making an icon details and a color black what we're gonna look at now is we're gonna launch our Eclipse and we're going to look at the folders that we put our icons So we're gonna look at the left hand side we're gonna look at the project Explorer we're gonna go down to the folder that holds our program that we're programmed which is called kill them all dash training we're gonna expand that we're going to go down to the RES folder. We're going to expand that folder. We're going to look at the four folders, the first four folders that opens up. And these four folders are called Drawable Dash, HDPI, LDPI, MDPI, and XHDPI. And they pretty much stands for like the, the LD stands for low density, the M stands for medium density, the H stands for high density, and the XHD stands for extra high density. And you can think of these as small, medium, large, where the you know, low is small, medium, large, and extra large. Now, if you open this first one, the high density, you notice it has one file in there called iclauncher.png. If you double click on that, if you have a window machine, it'll open it up in paint. And you notice that it has the standard icon or the Android man standard icon in there. And that's what each of these folders have. They have that picture. They're just different sizes. If you open the second one down, it's called LDPI, which is the low density, it also has the same thing. And if you also notice their name is exactly the same. So you have to create the icons, name them exactly the same, and put them in here. And of course, the only difference is there'll be different sizes. Now, what are the sizes? We're going to diminish this. Uh, and again, the way you put them in there, just cut and paste them in there. And again, I'm not going to show you how to make, make them. I'm just going to show you how to cop copy and paste them into your project. Now, let's diminish this and go open up our folders our one folder as you can see i already created the icons i'll show you one trick of those of you who are using photoshop because it drove me crazy and that trick is very important or you'll go nuts if you don't figure it out so for you guys who use photoshop i'll show you the one trick i won't show you everything but just that one little trick that drove me crazy for a couple months but you notice i already created the icons i named them incorrectly i didn't use the ic launcher i just named them but i wanted to put the size I put them next to each other so you can see the difference. Here's a 36 by 36. Of course, that's the small or the low density one. And that's pixels. This is a, another one that's a 48 by 48 pixels. 
and that is the medium density or the medium size one. Here's the 72 by 72 pixel and that will be considered the high density or the large and here's the extra large one and it's a 96 by 96 pixel and that's be considered an XH or extra large density picture. And those are the three different sizes as you see they get bigger and what I'll end up doing is I'll copy and paste them in their individual folder and I'll go over here to this folder called change name click on it if you notice I created individual folders and in each individual folder I copy and pasted those pictures in here and I renamed them all the same name IC launcher so let's skip back and think about Photoshop now again I'm not going to show you how to create them but just one trick here is my logo and all I did was create a file the size and this was a 96 by 96 one and I dragged and dropped the logo in here and I shrunk it down and of course when you shrink a big picture down to a lower picture it gets blurry so I use Photoshop to clean it up make it brighter again and then I recreated the thing when I get made the next smaller size and the next smaller size until I had all four sizes the one thing I want to show you that's very important is this when you go to the file and want to save it for the web and you get to save box you notice I use a PNG transparent boxes click but this one thing I, this one box I want you to pay attention is called matte this matte or matting box is what's going to give you headaches for weeks if you don't figure it out and what this does we we'll use it is defaulted to nothing it's blank there's nothing here it's empty if you leave it empty if you look at the uh, little hint box that pops up what that basically tells you is if you have a transparent background they're going to try to put matting all around your picture so that it can easily transition to whatever background you have but it's defaulted to a white matting and if it's empty again not none but just empty what you end up getting and I got a mock-up for you let me bring it up it's uh here as you can see if you put once you clean it up and you save it and then you don't and, and the matting's empty and you save it it's going to look good, but once you copy and paste into your emulator and run in your project and you run the emulator, this is what you're going to get with the black background of your page that your icons are in. You also see this irregular white matting all around. And you can't figure out what it is. And if you go back to Photoshop and you crop it and you try to the racer tool, you won't see nothing there, but it's because it happens when you save it. The next time you bring it up, the man is still going to be there, but sometimes it moves. It comes thicker on the opposite side or something. It's like the craziest thing, and you can never get it looking nice. It's always there because every time you save it, that's when it's added. So let's get rid of this, bring back our Photoshop. When you go to File and save for Web, what I did is I said None. I, it, was, it was blank, and I went to None, and that way there's no matting and that worked fine for me if because it's small you, you don't see any edging it looks perfect if sometimes your edging is not that great and you might see some white specks or your picture is a little bigger than the icon you do have other options in matte all you gotta do is bring it down and you can use like white background black background if I click the black one it makes my outside edges a lot more black it looks irregular but since the background's black that will just blend in and you won't have to worry about it but since I know, you know, this would work well, but also none as well works just as good. And you don't see any problem with the edging is on it. So it's perfect. I save it to that and it's pristine. Just remember that. But if, you know, if you have a different background color and you want to have matting, you can select using these, these eyedrop option or, or you can use black or white or whatever option. You can play around with it, but mine's were perfect with none. And when I save it, it looks pristine. So once I create all the files, and again, let me bring up the folder. I put the folder here. Then I made these folders, and I went to change name. Then I created each one of these folders, and then I copy and paste those files in these folders, naming, naming them exactly the same IC Launcher. Once I've done that, I bring up my clips. And again, like I said before, I'm just going to copy and paste them, and that's the easiest way. No problem. All I gotta do is just bring up my folder. I'll take the first one, which is the low density. I'll right click on it, say copy. Go over here to my clips. Make sure that the file that I want the folder selected, that the low density folder is selected. Right click on it, hit paste. 
Now, since it already has a file in there, name exactly what you that you're trying to replace it with. You get your familiar warning box saying, "Hey, this file already has IC Launcher in here. Do you want to override?" You say yes, and then you just keep doing that for all the other folders. So I'll come over here and I can just go on the medium folder because that's the next one. Say copy. Come over to my clips. Make sure it's selected. The medium folder selected. Hit paste. Say override yes. Bring up my folder. Go back. Say okay. I want the large now. Right click on there. Say copy. Go back to my clips. Make sure the folder is selected. Say paste. Say override yes. And the last one is, let me go back, my extra large for my high, extra high density. Say copy, go to the clip, right click on the extra high density one, say paste, override yes. And that's it, you're done. Now we're going to run the, the M layer. I'm going to click on my folder so that way the clips know I want the whole folder to run. I'm going to click run. And you won't have to save anything, it's pretty much already saved. And we're going to bring up our emulator. And it should restart the game, and we should go be able to go back to this page and see uh, if the icon it did change. Okay, it ran the game. Let's hit exit. And as you can see right here, the game did launch, and the icon is changed and it looks perfect. You can look at it, it looks really pristine. Let's click on it. The game runs. Let's get back to our page. And there it is. That's all you have to do. The basically, you have to create it and copy and paste it again. I wasn't going to show you how to create it because there's plenty of examples and tutorials online to do that. Just I showed those who use Photoshop that one little trick because it'll drive you crazy and basically how to insert it, which all you're going to do is copy and paste. You just have to make sure you make four different sizes of the same one and put them in their appropriate folder and everything's set. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I want to thank you for listening. Good luck, everybody.